I just read this book, The Tao Te Ching. Like I would say 20% of what's written down just made me say, holy shit. <laughs> Let me share some things that I've learned from reading this book. Don't control, don't expect, let things come and go, have but don't possess. If you want to be given everything, give everything up. If you realize you have enough, you are truly rich. When there is no desire, all things are at peace. Rejoice in the way things are. When you realize there is nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you. If you keep your mind from judging, your heart will find peace. Every morning and every evening, as things happen, say thanks for everything, I have no complaints whatsoever. That's some of the stuff that's in this book. Allow things to come and go. Stop thinking and end your problems. The master sees things as they are without trying to control them. He understands that the universe is forever out of control and that trying to dominate events goes against the current. Because he believes in himself, he doesn't try to convince others. Because he is content with himself, he doesn't need others' approval. Because he accepts himself, the whole world accepts him. I mean, god damn. Those are some words of wisdom by Lao Tzu. It's similar in theme to the book Letting Go in that you let go of all control and desire and accept things the way things are. I mean, easier said than done, obviously, but something worth striving towards. Accept things the way they are and have gratitude. Thanks for everything. I have no complaints whatsoever. Man, I could read this every single day and still find it insightful. If you want to get rid of something, you must first allow it to flourish. If you want to take something, you must first allow it to be given. Believe in yourself, can be content with yourself, and accept yourself. And the world will accept you. It took me like two hours to read this whole book. I mean, it's just a bunch of like poem-like, as you can see here. Definitely food for thought. I'm going to try and come back to this book on a regular basis. It's also in line with other books I've read like Reality Transurfing where he says let go of desire, which is also in line with Buddhism, I guess. So there are just these universe, universal themes that crop up in this book over and over again. There's something that I have to add. When the book says let go of desire, Reality Transurfing says the same thing but it says intend, don't want or desire. So I intend to do this, I intend to have this, not, oh, I want this. And the difference, I guess, is in the feeling that you get. Wanting and desiring means that, oh, I don't have this, so I'm coming from a place of lack, but I want this. And intend is, I am going to get this. And again, with The Stranger Secret that I talked about recently in my videos and reality transurfing as well, as with so many under other manifestation material. Imagine as if you have already got what you intend to have and feel that feeling. It's funny because it's like telling a person, a hungry person, to act as if they're full, which doesn't really make sense. But I guess if you're using my, your imagination, you can imagine it and that's the power of imagination. I keep forgetting to do what feeling is the secret the book told me to do, which is as you're falling asleep every night, imagine Imagine that you already have everything that you desire to have, I guess intend to have. I just get end up getting distracted with other thoughts. I don't think it's contradictory that you can strive for things that you intend to have while at the same time being happy with everything that you have right now. All these things in this book, which is accepting things the way they are, you can still accept the things the way they are while trying to improve and attain more in the future. I had to add that part because I think it's easy to, after hearing all that stuff, to say, oh, so we should just be Buddhist monks and just accept everything that we have and not strive for anything better. I don't think that's what this is saying, is what I'm trying to say. Remember that it says, if you want to be given everything, give everything up. So that's a lot of sacrifice to get what you want. I hope you took away at least one thing that you found insightful among the things I've read you. For the most part, I thoroughly enjoyed this. She just got up. 
Oh, you go. That's gonna film you, Mochi. And then you got up. 1% better every day, baby.